Hi everyone, it's Melissa here to plan in my Happy Memory Keeping Planner. So I wanted to use the skinny washi again to create a border around the Happy Memory Keeping Photo a Day Challenge that I participated with the Happy Planner. So I'm using this really skinny washi, which is really great but a little bit hard to maneuver because of the fact it is so thin. Once I have that border set up, I will go ahead and put my Memory Keeping Challenge photos at the bottom row. I'm going to go ahead and adhere my photos with Tombow Mono Adhesive. I love how cheap and easy this adhesive is to use, and I find that if you're pretty liberal with how much you put on, it will definitely stand the test of time. I'm a big paper crafter. I also stamp and make cards, and this is definitely my go-to adhesive in putting together my cards and other paper crafts. So you may have noticed that I've gone ahead and written in pencil where I would like each photo to go. I find that this is really useful for me to pre-plan my memory keeping spreads. I print my photos using a Canon selfie and in doing so, I first have to make a collage of four photos using an app like Pic Collage. So at the end of the week, what I usually do is I will go through my phone and my husband's phone to look at the photos that we've taken that week and I will write it in pencil where I'm thinking each photo will go and then as I'm developing it, I will go ahead and place a check mark once I've actually developed the photos. I have to be smart when printing my photos with a Canon selfie because if I've forgotten a photo that week, it's really difficult since I will have to add three other photos in order to be able to develop one. I don't really like wasting photos and just developing one photo at a time, so I have to be prepared ahead of time to make sure that I have everything ready for my memory keeping spread. In retrospect, I don't really like how I have two photos side by side like I do for the photo of the week and Monday in the left hand corner, but that's okay. I think I'm going to try to avoid this in my next spread. These date covers are from a planner extension pack that I bought ages ago. Waste not, want not. I can't seem to throw them away even though they are quite old. Although I do love how different they look, even though they're just black and white from the other date covers found in the Dates and Holidays sticker book. I love how they're circular and how the negative white space is where the date actually is. I love how classic this washi looks, especially at the bottom. It looks like lace trim. My plan was to do a black and gold color scheme this week, but the sticker sheet that I was using had also shades of mint and pink, so I do end up working those into the spread. I'm really happy I went with this style of date cover since it really goes well with this Hobby Lobby sticker sheet that I end up using this week. My thought process in layering stickers over top of photos is I don't mind doing it as long as it's not covering an important aspect of the photo. In retrospect, I regret having two circle stickers in line with each other like that black happy and the one all the way on Sunday. I wish that I had staggered it or stuck it at a different row. I think that this looks too symmetrical and it's not very pleasing to the eye. Now that I've determined the color scheme and which stickers I want to use, I can go ahead and journal about the photos. To be honest, I memory plan for me. I love it when my friends look through my memory planner, but the photos that I choose, the moments that I choose to capture, they're not really of my husband's life, but they're really what's happening in my own life. So with that in mind, I try to journal so that if a stranger were looking through this or one of my friends, that they'll understand why I wanted to take that photo or why that moment was important to me. What I'm trying to say is that I don't obviously include any photos that my husband took during the day when we were apart, things that happened to him at work. I don't really include those in my memory planner. I only try to include the memories or events that I actually took part in myself because this memory planner is told through my own perspective, not anybody else's. This is how I've personally chosen to memory plan. Obviously, there's no right or wrong way. Other people might want to do things differently, but it's just a way for me to kind of draw a line so I can know what memories to include and what not to include. So I'm actually filling in the gaps a little bit where the Canon selfie photos don't fit perfectly inside the happy memory keeping boxes. I think I didn't do a very good job offsetting them a bit because I can really notice the gaps. I find that if I actually offset the pictures within the boxes, really putting them to the side or not trying to really line it up, then the gaps don't bother me as much, but when I try to stick to the box, then the gaps are really noticeable. So what I just like to do is just to really offset it. I love the colorful boxes sticker book. I love how functional it is and how I can use it in my memory planner to caption directly onto the photo, especially if there's nothing going on in the background. That way it won't take up any white space of my spread. If you like this video, please click like and don't forget to subscribe.